well spent. I hope you're hungry, but I've got plenty of chocolate brownies ready for you. And Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. So we got the Kelbrook versus Errol Spence fight this Saturday. Brown Lane, Kelbrook's backyard. Been looking forward to the fight for a little over a year now. Glad it's finally taking place. Good fight for boxing. Great fight for the welterweight division. Now there's a couple things I noticed about both of these guys. Uh, yesterday they had the media workouts. Um, so, you know, both of these guys were, you know, showing out for the crowd or whatever. And... You know, I saw Kel Brook working out, and tell me why he looks like he's still in middleweight. Why is he, he looks huge, right? Does, doesn't Kel Brook look huge? And I know maybe, what, a couple of days ago they had, he did a weigh-in, and he was at like 148 and some change. Was that scale right? Because he don't look like he's 148 and some change if you look at them correctly. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't look. Like he's anywhere near 147. Somehow. Don't ask me how. It just doesn't look like he's at 147. And I know they're doing random blood and urine testing for this fight. You know, they got Vada and some UK, I don't know, some UK uh, drug organization. So they're double testing, right? I'm just not sure how Kell Brook is, is looking like that. Now, on the other hand, and we're keeping it 100% over here. A hitman boxing. If you look at Errol Spence, he looks like a skeleton. His face looks terrible, all sunken in, veins popping out his forehead. He looked like a crackhead, man. He looked like he looking for, you know what? I ain't going to say that. He looked bad, son. Like, he looked like he got AIDS or something, man. I don't know. <laughs> like, this motherfucker looked bad. So, I'm not sure if he, he you know what, he, look, he looks weight drained. Spence looks weight drained. He looks sick. Like he got the flu. I don't know what's wrong with this man. He need to go eat him a sandwich or something, man. But he definitely looks different from all the other times that I can remember. But you know what? The spotlight hasn't really been on him that close, so I can't even really say that. He did mention that, you know, obviously he's not a natural 147 pounder. Obviously, Kel Brook isn't a natural 147 pounder, right? So, he kills himself to make the weight. I'm just saying he looks bad right now. And it looks like he is really killing himself to make the weight. I don't even know what he's at right now. I, You know, in fact, I'm willing to bet he's not even at 147 at this very moment. He's probably in the gym right now. Trying to shade our weight off. I was going to wait to do this video until after the after the weigh-in. Because maybe that would have been a, more, a little bit more fair. So we could have gotten a comparison. The two standing side by side. But, I mean, look at the videos. You can go over to Fight Hype. Dante's Boxing Nation. Look at the interviews. And he looks drained, tired, dehydrated. Lips looking like they got chalk on them. And he looked bad. Kel Brook, on the other hand. Looks great, looks healthy, looks like he's ready to go. But again, he looks like he's at 160 and not one, not anywhere near 147. I don't know how he pulled that off. <laughs> I don't know. I ain't gonna accuse him of taking nothing, but hey. He look he looking a little suspect right now. At 148 and some change. You know? I don't know. I don't know if he I don't know what's going on. Now, this doesn't change my pick. I still got Errol Spence winning by murder. You know, he can put on all that weight that he needs to, but that midsection is gonna get that midsection is gonna get hit by body shots all day. And that temple will crack and it will crumble. And that belt's coming back over to the US. So it'll be interesting to see how things go on uh the day of the weigh in. Watch, you know what? This is what I'm predicting. I'm predicting Errol Spence doesn't make weight on the first try. I'm, I bet you he's not going to make weight on the first try. They're going to play these mind games with him. I bet you that's going to happen. 
Kell Brook, I, I'm sure he'll make. Whoa, well, you know, you know, he's at one four. They say he's at one forty eight and some change. I don't, I don't know what to believe because he don't look like he's at one forty eight and some change. I'm telling you, go back and watch. Go watch the interviews. Go watch the videos. Sums up, son. But hey, I hope Errol Spence is ready. Cause he made some. He made a little comment. You know, I'm gonna make another video about that. But he made a comment that was kind of. You know, it didn't seem like he was too too confident after he seen what Kelbro looked like. You know what I'm saying? So, at this point, I can't. I'm not changing my pick. I'm definitely riding with Spence because I still think he's gonna win. I just think Kelbro like looked like he's on something. <laughs> he looked like he's on some shit. But hey, we can't even we can't even accuse him, right? Because they got two different drug organizations, and what has Vada or any of these other drug organizations been? you know, cheated for a fighter or made things appear the way they really aren't. You know what I mean? Right? Wink, wink. So, this Saturday, I hope we have a good fight. This should be a great fight. It's a fight we need for boxing. It's a fight we need for the welterweight division. Uh, you know, what happens after the fight is what I'm most interested in. Uh, you know, after Spencer, even Kell Brooker, whoever wins this fight, you know, I expect them to go try to unify with Keith Thurman's scared ass. And uh, hopefully we can get a unified champion at one point. Hopefully Manny Pacquiao retires because I know he don't want to fight any of these champions. You know, he's fighting Jeff Horn next. Uh, I expect him to beat Jeff Horn pretty convincingly. And, you know, after that, I mean, I was talking to him fighting Terrence Crawford. He want that that bag though, but if he fights Terrence Crawford at 147 and Terrence Crawford beat the fuck out of him and he got that WBO belt, that changes the dynamic of things a lot. That changes a lot, man, if he wins that belt, if he beats Pacquiao and takes that belt from him because if he does that, we got a lot of different matchups that we could potentially see. You know, uh, Terrence Crawford versus Errol Spence. I mean, um, Terrence Crawford versus uh, Keith Thurman, really. That'd be a good fight. Um, I never even ex thought of the possibility of a Terrence Crawford versus Kell Brook fight or Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence. I mean, just, I don't know. It just doesn't appeal to me like it does to a lot of other people out there. But we could have some interesting fights if we throw Terrence Crawford in the mix. Maybe even Danny Garcia, Terrence Crawford, because, you know, they had a little beef back in the day when both of them were at 140. And, you know, Danny Garcia ran up to 147 or whatever you want to call it. But anyway, I'm getting off topic here. Errol Spence, Kell Brook. Um, Errol Spence got a lot to lose in this fight, man. You know, you, you've already put it out there that you you gave Floyd a black eye in sparring. You not Adrian Broner out in sparring. You know, you got the Charlo brother talking about you, you giving out work to to Hatley. So you got you have to win this fight. You you have to win this fight. If you don't win this fight. Your career is over with, and you're gonna be a label. You're gonna definitely be labeled a hype job if you lose this fight. So I hope you're ready mentally, spiritually. You need to go in there. You don't need to change nothing up. You need to go in there. You need to do what you do to everybody. Break the motherfuckers down. Break Kell Brook, chocolate brownie eating pussy boy. Anyway, Hitman Boxing. Let me know what y'all thought of Errol Spence looking like he severely weight drained somebody get this dude a steak or something man some chicken some kool-aid some watermelon something man shit <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'm just fucking around hit man box and drop a comment i'm out Steady ignoring greatness Word. A call bearing what you need when I come undertake it This hostile take over by the chill hover uh -huh. I got the blueprints, I really do this So move on over Stay in your lane, nigga, stay in your lane You steady running at the guns But fucking suck at the game Ain't it a shame? It really is My words invoke fear I teach you lessons that'll have you breaking down in tears 
call me Joe Clark with a baseball bat. Chaining up the doors and spelling all these niggas from rap. Cause they kill your brain cells, son. How don't you see it? They steady brainwashing you. And then repeating, but tis the season for chill rage. I bring about change. But not Obama, cause this nation I will never claim. I got my sights aimed at the top spot on the chop block.